here. We are on the grounds of renowned cargo trailers here in Douglas, Georgia, and we are showcasing a trailer that I promise you, you don't see every day. This right here is a custom build um, from a customer of ours named Greg Callie, who is actually inside the dealership now, finishing up his paperwork. You'll get to meet him in just a second. But before you meet him, I wanted to show y'all this beautiful trailer before it left our lot. Is if you'll look, this is a seven wide trailer. You see the fenders on the outside, but it has spread torsion axles on it. So most of the time you have a one piece fender going all the way across, but you see how the axles are spread out and you never hardly see this on a seven wide, but you're gonna start seeing it a lot, I promise you. We might try something crazy at Renown Cargo Trailers, and soon as we do, everybody else starts following. So I promise you, you'll start seeing these on the road. All right, so this is a seven by 16. It's got your thicker aluminum on it. This is 040 uh, black metal. It's completely screwless. You don't see any screws going down the sides. So uh, everything is glued down, pressed down tight. You see how flat that metal lays? Looks really, really good. What he's using this trailer for, guys, he's uh, going to put his motorcycles in it. He, it's a toy hauler for him. If you'll look on the front, it's got an extended triple tube tongue. So what that extended tongue does is it keeps you from uh, jackknifing your trailer when you're backing it up, and it also causes you to be able to turn as tight as you want. If, he, if he's ever gonna pull this with a camper, uh, you've got to have that extended tongue when you're pulling trailers with an RV. If you'll look, he's got the 24 inch ATP diamond plate going around the sides in the rear of the trailer. Again, he's got the spread torsion axles and what the torsion axles do, it's an upgrade, but it's gonna give you a smoother ride. It absorbs shock better. So when he puts these nice Harley Davidsons in here, he don't have to worry about them bouncing going down the road. They're gonna ride smooth. We've also put a bar lock on the side door to give him some extra security. It uh, comes equipped with an RV chrome flush lock, but we've also put a bar lock on here, so that way it keeps people from breaking in. Right here, he upgraded to the Spider Mag alloy wheels. Those are chrome with black inlay. Up here, we've got a 15 by 30 slider uh, window. It's a horizontal slider window with the screen, smoke glass black. So upgraded to some aluminum sidewall vents. This trailer's got an air conditioner on the top, I do believe, but he's also got the aluminum sidewall vents as well. Down here in the back, if you'll look, Laura, you're gonna get down low. There's some bogey wheels on the back and also some stab jacks. What the bogey wheels are gonna do, it's gonna keep you from uh, dragging. If you ever go up a steep incline, sometimes you, uh, somebody might have a steep driveway and to keep the back of the trailer from dragging the driveway and messing the driveway up or scrubbing the frame of the trailer, we weld bogey wheels on the back so the wheels will just actually roll up the driveway. They're 10 inch wide, they're steel bogey wheels. Also, their stab jacks are on the bottom and that what that does is when you unhook from the trailer, all you gotta do is pop the stab jack down and it stabilizes the trailer on all corners. He's got some LED loading lights up here at the rear. These are 12 volt LED loading lights. On the back, we've got your LED strip uh, motorcycle lights on the rear. Again, the sides and the uh, rear and the, uh, are wrapped in the uh, diamond plate. Transition got the double spring assist up top, so the ramp door comes down nice and smooth. He's got his uh, interior finished out, guys, in black rubber tread plate. We also covered the ramp door and the flap as well um, in rubber tread plate, and then we trim it out in aluminum trim. It's so pretty inside. I hate to even walk in here and mess it up. Coming inside, uh, we've got white metal walls on the interior. He's got an air conditioner, like I said. He's got four LED lights in the ceiling. He's got a base cabinet right here. I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'4", so it's kinda tight in here. But we've got overhead cabinets up top. There's plenty of space up there to store stuff. Nice cabinets. Got a base cabinet down here. More storage space, and then there goes his panel box for his electrical package. That's going to uh, run his 110 lights and his air conditioner, so he'll just plug right up to his generator. Laura, if you'll get him down here on the floor, you see he's got D-rings 
uh, spaced out exactly where he wants them. It looks like they're going to put two Harleys in here. I can tell the way he's laid out the D-rings. He's going to stagger them in here. So he'll be able to uh, haul two bikes in here as well. Some receptacles in here to plug into, 110 receptacles. These are the aluminum sidewall vents, y'all. These are super nice. If it's ever raining, he can open them both directions. And what it'll do is you'll open one up top up here, and he'll open one down there at the bottom rear, and it'll suck out all the gas fumes um, from those motorcycles when he's going down the road. This trailer turned out super, super nice. A lot of times when you do a black trailer, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, black shows up the most imperfections out there. This trailer right here lays as flat and as smooth as any trailer I've ever seen. It turned out beautiful. Up top, he's got the 15,000 BTU air conditioner up top. It's gonna be plenty of air conditioner for this seven by 16 trailer. Y'all, I'm telling you, I can't get enough of these fenders. Spread torsion axles, Corvette fenders. Wow, these things are sexy. <laughs> and there goes Mr. Greg right there. Mr. Greg, you mind getting on camera? <laughs> This is Greg Kelly, all the way from Illinois. Austin was the sales rep. How was your experience? Good. It was a good time? Yeah. I got exactly what I wanted. Exactly what he wanted. And was the, was the uh, buying process easy for you or complicated? It was easy. I was hoping that he would have been able to get it through earlier, but with all the backups and everything. Well, we appreciate your patience. We appreciate your patience. Right now, materials are, it's, I've never seen a trailer plant, Mr. Greg, as long as I've been doing this, run out of white or black metal. And this week, they're out of both. <laughs> but the Lord keeps making a way, and I appreciate your patience, and we appreciate the opportunity to earn your business. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Greg. Greg, I just want to tell you, I know you're going to watch this later. We appreciate the opportunity to earn your business at Renowned Cargo Trailers. We know you came as a customer, but you are leaving as family. And man, you are leaving looking good in style. But if y'all want a toy hauler or any kind of trailer, we customize in all kind of stuff. At Renowned Cargo Trailers, we say if you can dream it, we can build it. We're doing race car trailers, we're doing toy haulers, we're doing motorcycle trailers, we're doing concession trailers, pet grooming trailers, office trailers. If it's got anything to do with a trailer, I promise you, we do it at Renowned Cargo. But y'all give us a call at 188-287-3954. Uh, you can check us out on our YouTube channel. There's tons of information out there for you. A lot of informative stuff on YouTube. So check us out at Renowned Cargo Trailers. Subscribe to our channel. Um, also, you can find us on Facebook. You can check our website out, www.renownedcargotrailers.com. We've got plenty of stuff out there for you on the web, but give us a call. There's 10 sales reps here at the dealership that have way more experience and knowledge about these products than I do. But y'all, I promise you, we're building you the best product at the best price, and uh, nobody will touch our quality. Um, we don't try to be the cheapest, but we do try to be the best. Let me introduce somebody. Come here, Austin. He's over there leaned up against the fence. This is Austin King. Uh, he's been working with me now for what, two or three years? Yeah. And Austin, uh, he, he came out of the manufacturer, uh, used to build these trailers. When, how long? About four and a half, five years. He worked in the manufacturer four and a half, five years, and then we just saw his worth it, he saw how hard he was working. He wanted to sell trailers, and here he is. And uh, he's actually Mr. Greg's sales rep, and um, y'all can give him a call. He, he knows, like I said, way more about these trailers than I do. I'm the dumbest one out the bunch, but God surrounded me with a bunch of champions like Austin. But y'all give us a call. We can't wait to earn your business. Is there anything you want to say, brother? Yes, sir. Y'all just be blessed. Y'all be blessed. And listen, don't forget, Jesus is crazy about you. He's madly in love with you. I don't care what you did last night. My God loves you, and um, and we love you too. If y'all need anything, y'all give us a call. Until then, y'all be blessed.